Mario Book. That's right, Mario's 44. And welcome back to another Cartoon Vanguard deck profile. Today's deck profile, we have the Vanguard that is not Azul, but his name is pretty freaking close. Um, what's his name? <laughs> uh, King of Knights, Vanguard, Ezil, the Alfred Legion. Um, now, I don't particularly like these these versions, you know, with the grade 3s. I think they're a great, unique way to use the grade 3s, but I'm just not into most of them. There are a few that I enjoy. Anyways, uh, you can tell this isn't my playmat, though, because this isn't my deck. This is my friend Daniel's deck. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, he'll be doing the deck profile, and yeah, I'll get this stuff out of his way so he can just start and begin. Get his stuff out of the way. His, his, his deck box. The, the deck box. Of yeah. boxes. I don't know. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, Susan. Alright. You get so, the spotlight. <laughs> Alright, so for the starter, we run Wingo Brave, because there isn't really any other starter you can use for this deck. I mean, well, there's a great three searcher, but, you know, it's not really out yet, so we can't really use that. Plus, yeah. um, we have a lot of blaster stuff in this deck, so it's, it's good. Yeah, um, unfortunately, without the great three searcher, it does make it harder to get the perfect vanguard you want, so that's, that's pretty unfortunate. But, yeah. um, it. <laughs> Once that comes out, hopefully, if it comes out. Well, I mean, it's does. a promo, I think. It's a promo? Yeah, oh, from okay. Fight, Fighters Clan X, I think. All right, Fighters so, Clan X, okay. Yeah, so I don't know. for the Great 3 lineup, we have four of Azal and four of his Legion mate, King of Knights Alfred. Yeah, uh, his skill. Sorry. What? No worries. I just want to move it over. She's basically the center of the thing. So if you put it in the center, it's more centered. Oh, okay. Just so. that in. Yeah, so his skill is, um, when you're in Legion, you Soul Blast 2 and you Persona Blast a copy of itself or the Legion Mate, you can call out a grade 2, a 1, and a 0. Alright, so that that's, that's pretty handy getting your setups. Um, yeah, he's a pretty strong card from the sounds of it. Um, and I know with these types of Legions, uh, just to clarify for anyone who's confused, uh, these types of lesions, you can also use Alfred's skill. Like, the great, the other grade 3s, you can use their skill. It's only the normal legions that you can't, you know, the ones with the grade 2. So, uh, you can use both of their skills, so... Hell, you could use his for just counterblasting, because you can, and... Yeah. Saving, saving him for the soul blast. So, it, it, I, I don't know, it, it's a nice combo. It yeah. is. Also, he, he still gets the 2k for every rear guard as well. Yeah, he still gets his 2k because of 2k because of his skill. And yeah, they so, both work, so. Yeah, so say if you have a full field, you'll be swinging for like 30 every turn. Of course, he can't. I don't think. I don't think uh, Ezio can be boosted, can he? No, he can't. No. Once he's in the game, right. he can't really boost him. I don't think he could just be boosted in general. I think he says. I think the card says no boosting. Oh, no, it says when this unit is in Legion. Your you this unit cannot be boosted. All right, so only when it's in Legion, kids, kids and, and girls, kids and boys and girls, and <laughs> uh, okay. and girls and players. Anyway, um. <laughs> for the great two lineup, we run four of Blaster Blade Spirit. Try using your other arm. Doesn't get in the way. Yeah. Four of Blaster Blade. <laughs> there you go. Blade. Much better. All right. For Blaster Blade. Ooh, and beautiful art of Blaster Blade, by the way. Of Sorry to grab your card, but beautiful art of Blaster Blade. Yeah, Oops. The original. All right, one. so uh, explanations for let's start off with Blaster Blade Spirit. Reason All right, for running well, it. Reason for running it. It's a good ride target because it's 10k base, and you know when you're calling stuff. I mean, like if, when you call them out with uh, Azal or Star Call, you can like you can pop something. Yeah, because yeah. you don't use Counter Blast, so it's a n nice way to use it. Yeah. Um, and then Blaster Blade, same deal. Yeah. Nice way to use a counter blast. Yep. There really isn't too much you can counter blast with in Royal Paladin. So I, 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 I do have to agree with that. Normally, you know, I like it builds and wonder why you would do this, but uh, no, I, I agree with this. <coughs> this is, it helps utilize. Um, I, yeah, I, I could see now it actually helps utilize both of their skills with calling out stuff and utilizes it well with theirs of retiring so like you just use him to call a bunch of stuff retire two things easy easy peasy lemon squeezy you've taken advantage of the board and then star call yeah you know pretty self-explanatory you call one of these two and then you could like 
use their ability to like retire somebody. Another option you could do instead of Starkle, that is a, uh, I guess a good recommendation would be two Galatines, uh, because of the fact if you ride Alfred, you don't want to get punished early on. Mm -hmm. So just in case you don't end up riding the other one, uh, you know you play two Galatines just for 10k beater, and also in case you ride Alfred by accident because you can't mm -hmm. do anything. That I don't know. That's just an option though. Um, you run at Star Colo, and and it's understandable why you know use up to counter blast, get a plus minus something, and it, yeah. it, it's a good it's a good way of doing it. Oh yeah, there's a I think I think Galatine's just the other option. Yeah, and this is good though. I like this version. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, something you hear from me. Yeah, there's a cool combo <laughs> I'd like to show you guys after. Yeah, um, show show it now if you want. Oh, okay. Or it doesn't involve any great rule. Oh, it involves a great one, but we can get to that after. You could just show it at the end of the video. Yeah. People can watch the combo at the end. Alright. Uh, Sounds like a plan. Alright, <laughs> so for grade ones, we run. Other hand, other hand. Or. Uh, for Marin. Marin. So, AK is, you know, very standard. Okay. Very standard um, defensive units. And, and I think I think it consists of the same thing of what I was trying to say before with Alfred. Um, I mean, maybe for Marin. Perfect three. guard. And. Do 20 Pugles. Oh, you can't see the toy pool goes from there. Oh. Here, let me, let me, let me move it over here. I'll just, e, 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 e. There we go. Three toy pool goes. Okay, so, uh, with Marin, I think, solid thing. Like, it's a good ride Marin's target. always, it's a good right target. Marin's always, always, always something you play in Royal Paladin, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's not something new. Uh, I think if you want to choose the, the more defensive version of this deck uh, just in case you know as I said you run you you accidentally ride him or just try to play defensive um, instead of running these you could I don't know take out one of these um, this isn't a suggestion to Dan Daniel this is a recommendation to you guys if you don't like this lineup um, you could play three Galatines by taking out two of these and one of the blaster blade spear and then you have you know your Marin and you kinda have a more defensive build so I don't know. That's that's if you want to run it defensively. Uh, Daniel likes to run it more aggressively. I know that. Um, but explain your lineup. I, I probably should have explained that afterwards, but it's okay. Yeah, it's cool. All right. So yeah, we explain our. Oh uh, yeah, we run Leanne because you know it helps recycle your hand and it helps settle for Legion early. Four mm -hmm. perfect guards. You know the standard thing. And three toy pogos because like um, when you Legion, it'll always be a solid nine K booster. Now I I do wonder what no Quinta wall. Oh, no. I have a quintet wall. Uh, I don't know. Preference. Preference? Okay. Yeah. Well, he just runs per four perfect guards because of preference, but, you know, normal lineup, three P guards, and a quintet wall. Um, I imagine with this deck, you might not need the quintet wall, but you could just you could use it, and a, you still have enough counter blast. So either way, you want to run it. Um, as for the Lien, um, I do... I've all right. I've, I've, Maybe this is around. the thing I do question in this deck, in your deck, is the four Lian. I think three would be better because you only have one behind the Vanguard. Yeah. But it is good for early cycling, so I won't lie for that. Actually, you know what? No, never mind. Take that all back. I take that all back. Four Lian is good for this deck mm -hmm. because in case you get something like an Alfred early on or something, and you really need to get to Ezil, Ezil, Four Lians will help you get to him, even though you do need one of the two grade threes to use his skill. Like you have to persona grade three blast, whatever. E either of the two, uh, I think it's still good to use Lian. Maybe drop a Marin or something. I don't know. Star call and draw a card to help find your Azil. So you know what? I agree with the four Lians. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm trying to. Daniel's not used to doing this, so I do apologize that I'm taking over a little bit, but yeah. the only reason is because he's not used to it, and I'm trying to help find different ways and different reasons why this and that is good, because it's normally what I do, and you Sorry. guys know that. It's my first time. No, it's okay. Yeah. That's, that's what she said, Anyways, but it's okay. For the trigger right now. <laughs> Got a crit. Let's do it faster. Yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah, faster. Yeah. You have, like... Four different types of crit, just to throw people off. Yeah, no, that I was, just, uh, that was that, that. I like variety. Four draw, and yes. Four yeah, margos. he likes variety too. Yeah. So four margo, yeah. uh, eight crit, four heal, and then four heal. Yeah. 
the uh, the popcorn. Do I call it popcorn? Because that's what I read it as is first. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I accidentally read yeah, it I as popcorn. I think that one could look a lot nicer. It does look nice. Um, so yeah, Sand and Trigger lineup. Yeah. But um, most of our paladins play twelve crit, but you do need the Margle for finding um, yeah, for, for like finding finding Persona Blast, and the other reason you know it, you explain it to me. So go ahead. His his skill, Ezio's skill. Right. You need it for Ezio's skill. Remember, there's <coughs> yeah, so well, blasting more. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think you'd want to ride a zeal on a zeal, because you need an zeal in your hand just to use the skill. So y you lose the card unless you have like an Alfred or something or another zeal in your hand. But um, all right. So, yeah. Okay. Here's a cool combo I'd like to. Uh, all right. Let's... So Daniel's gonna show off a combo. All right. So here we go. Here all right. Go. So one combo I'd always like to do. Activate a skill. What I'd call is either Toy Poogle or Margle. Wait, Toy Poogle or Marin. Alright. Where's Toy Poogle? Okay. So you Soul Blasted. Yeah. How many do you have to Soul Blast again? Uh, two and a copy of itself. Two and a copy? Alright, All right. so drop the copy and those are the Soul Blasts. Yeah. Do that. And then activate Star Call skill. Counter Blast 2. Call him. And then activate his one Counter Blast to pop something. And then uh, I'd put Margo into Soul. Gives 3k to him, so he can still hit the Vanguard, and then, and then you can still swing for his fault. Uh, 27, which is good. Mm. Uh, that's pretty much how the combo would go. So you have a, uh, mm. you still Toy Pugo. Mm. Basically, when you're in Legion, Toy Pugo is always 9k. Yeah. So it it's that's another reason that it's okay to run Star Call. Yeah. Um. So that'd be swinging for 17, and this 13, and that's 27. Yeah. You knocked the card out, and you got a plus three. Yeah. I, I guess. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that that really is. I think that's your best combo. Yeah. That really that's is. usually the standard combo that I do. I mean, I guess the other option would be a blaster blade here, just yeah. in case you don't want this getting knocked out just by attack. So this gains the three k. He's still twelve k, so he swings for twelve k. But other than that, no, that's it's a great combo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's a good combo. And it's for low damage too. You could just pop something, try to guard early like always. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's deck, right? That's the deck? Yep. Alright, so thank you guys for joining me in this deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The deck list as always will be in the description below. Thank you, Daniel, for doing this deck profile with me. Yeah, sorry I did a bad job at it. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. okay. It's your first time. Yeah. Be nice to him, guys. Uh, tell him how good he did for his first time. Or bad. Because... I know how it was my first time. It was like, her to dur 20 minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so yeah, um, remember to like, comment, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And that's about it. We'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see more videos from me, on the left, there are Let's Play videos, so you can go and check those out. And if you guys aren't up for that, on the right, there are Card Fight Vanguard videos, so you can go and check that out. And if you're still not up for those, I have Super Smash Bros. Pokemon and a Versus series on my channel so you can go to my channel and check that out. Also down below is my review channel where I do reviews, countdowns, game chats which is like a podcast and more. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Skype all listed at the top there. That is all. Hope you guys enjoy.